Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today I am super excited to go over my Alpaca Hub Pouch EDC Fix-It Bag. Let's take a look. So first off, huge shout out to Steve's Gear who sent me this because He's an awesome guy. I've been trying to figure out lately how to kind of minimize stuff. Uh, if you've watched some of my latest stuff, you've seen that I've kind of been slimming down a little bit, or at least focusing on kind of carrying some of the essentials. And when I mentioned that, him and I were having a discussion, and he offered to send me this, because it really is the perfect kind of little pouch to fit in most bags, especially a sling bag. Now, the Alpaca Hub Pouch, this thing is... Awesome. The specs on the site say that it's a VX42. Uh, VX42, it's waterproof, has a lot of other good qualities. I mean, check out Alpaca Gear stuff. They make awesome, just great bags, great pouches. There's a lot of guys doing some really cool reviews on their stuff. Uh, and this, you know, I got it and I thought, well, it's kind of small. What do I want to do? I've made, you know, I've made tins. I carry tins. There's the Altoids. And something I realized I really wanted to carry was tools. Uh, I've gone over my larger tool pouch, but I realized I don't always want to have to rely on this. So this has really become something that I'm kind of super excited to have. It's come in use, and it's really just super convenient to be able to grab and throw into any sort of bag I'm carrying. So to start out on the front here, uh, this outside patch, and I really like these zippers. I mean... At some point, maybe I'll put some cordage on here, but it feels good. This outside pouch, <clears throat> like everything I carry, I do have some zip ties up in the top fold there. And on the outside is a little bit of medicine. Now, I know I said it's a fix-it pouch, but part of fixing stuff is fixing boo-boos. Or, even if while you're fixing stuff, uh, you know, you need to take care of a couple nicks and cuts... So I also have a sewing kit too, part of fixing stuff for EDC is even the small stuff. Uh, lost button, a torn shirt. Uh, these are a couple aqua tabs just because also uh, they fit. It doesn't hurt to have something like this. I have it in a few other pieces of gear too, but a little bit of backup, especially when it fits so easy. Not bad at all. I think that's all, yeah, that's all I have on the outside itself just because I want to keep this slim and not bulk it up too much. And that's really it on the outside, which I think is fine, honestly, for just exactly the capacity that this thing really has. I'm going to stuff this back up, and then we'll open up the inside. And stuffed. Uh, something else worth mentioning, I don't have it in there right now because I've spent it. I usually like to keep in something like this, and specifically in this, a little bit of cash. Because also, when you're fixing stuff, it's not unusual that you might need to run out and grab a tool or some hardware or something. As far as the zippers, I love that it's a double zipper on this, and it opens really wide, which is good, because the amount of storage in this is kind of crazy for such a small pouch. Now, this thing, when closed, is about three and a half by five inches, so it's crazy just how much this can really store. So I'm going to start on the right side here, and, you know, this may be... I see a lot of these pouches, and it's pretty minimal, and for me personally, this is still pretty minimal as far as a carry goes, but I wanted it to be kind of useful and comprehensive enough to take care of a lot of things. Now this, you'll see, doesn't have a ratchet, doesn't have anything really crazy, but this is going to take care of a lot of stuff just on the go. Start on the outside patch. I did a little short on this guy. This is my favorite micro AAA light, and I specifically have a AAA light in here uh, because it's easy to find batteries it's easy to use something like this this is the night fox mini k3 this is just an awesome flashlight it's got a clip it's got flash modes i'm not going to go through everything it's not a flashlight review but this thing is just a great little flashlight oops sorry uh and the fact that say i'm working on something that i can set this up and create a lantern in my workspace or hang it from something and really make an actual lantern like that is just super useful. And as tiny as it is, still gives out really great light. A lighter. 
But, uh, you know, <laughs> this is basic. Everyone knows what a mini BIC is just because it's useful whether you're singeing cordage, whether you're trying to find a draft, if you think air is escaping somewhere. Uh, I work with automotive a lot, and this is a super useful tool for finding exhaust leaks, for example. So a lighter, <clears throat> then a tube of crazy glue. I actually shaved, and this doesn't look pretty, but I shaved the collar off of this simply because it does flare out, and I wanted to keep this as thin as possible. Keep it in the tube just to keep it, whoop, there it goes, just so I can make sure to keep this dry. And this stuff is just absolutely my favorite. It's not, I don't really know the biggest difference between this versus regular super glue, but this, I carry a tube of this in everything. It's just a great tool to always have. And I like this tube specifically because that way too, I can set it down while I'm working instead of it rolling around or dripping, the fact that I can just set it and it stands upright is super useful. So crazy glue, and then a right in the rain puka pen. Uh, I picked up one of these, well, a pack of them when I was doing my popular Reddit EDC carry stuff, and I thought it was a little goofy. I didn't think I'd really be into it, but uh, I put an actual pocket clip on another one, and this has become just one of my favorite pens to use ever. And having it in here means I always have something to write with, whether I'm leaving notes, working on a project, whatever it is. So that's the outside stuff. Uh, now, you'll see here, I don't, I don't utilize the rings necessarily. You know, one thing, one thing, one thing, and one in the back, because a pouch to me or any sort of bag is what you make of it. And at some point, if I change this up, I may utilize this differently. But in this front pouch here, do a little bit of digging. There we go. Um, now, you'll see this has a lot of the similar items that I used in my um, my little backup pouch I was using for a long time, this guy here, and I still really like this. Um, so I took a lot of notes from this. I'll drop a link to this video to here. Um, but this is, uh, I want to say maybe 20 feet at this point. I got a new one. I rewrapped it. This is 20 feet of 50 pound Kevlar cordage. And it slides in here no problem. I mean, I can stick this anywhere. This is just a bread tie. So you wrap one end, wrap, 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 and then at the top, just twist it off. And I can unwind this and take as much as I need, wind it back up. And this has held it just fine. So Kevlar cordage. I think that's all I have in the front. No, actually, this little guy. So you'll notice I have over here is a mini sharpie and this is just the keychain attachment for it if i want to hang it off of something because that's just really great utility and i would hate to kind of sacrifice that when this again is super easy to carry in the back pouch this is a little mini eyeglasses screwdriver just super useful one because i wear glasses and two because whatever tools you're carrying you will run into the tiniest screw ever so it's just always nice to have something like this. These are super cheap. I'll, uh, I'll have a link in the description for picking these up because I want to say I got this like three or four of them for 10 bucks at the most. Uh, you take this little key ring off and like a lot of stuff, I always say you can just slip it anywhere. Super useful. Uh, a blade. Now you'll notice I don't have a dedicated like pocket knife in here, right? And I thought about, not my thug, but I thought about a lot of stuff. Let me see. You know, I thought about, and this is just a little Ozark Trail beater, I thought a lot about putting a full blade in here, but I I changed my mind because a blade, while it has a lot of utility, is not the point of this. And I carry a blade on me in some form outside of my go bag pretty much all the time. So what I really wanted was a different type of utility. This is the screw pop box cutter and this has just been uh, one of my favorite things i got this i want to say in my stocking for my wife years ago and this is a great tool it just has a little magnet in here to keep that razor blade in so super easy to swap in a new one change this blade around and it 
what I really like is with that magnet, that blade still stays in there, which is super cool. It also has a bottle opener because, you know, maybe you need to open bottles. Everything has a bottle opener. That's just how it works. And a few other utility pieces here. So this is half of a right in the rain notebook. And you may have noticed I have the other half here because I wanted something that can be rugged. And I know I cut it in half. I've sacrificed a little bit of the utility, but it's nice to have also kind of a pad to write on as opposed to just loose paper. And I didn't have those tiny ones and they're crazy expensive to buy by themselves. So half of one honestly has worked out just fine. And on the inside, a... Frenzel, 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 whatever it is, a uh, magnifying slash fire lens. I love these things. I've featured them in several of my videos. It's got a little ruler on it, which is nice if you're really needing to measure things three inches at a time. But again, it's one of these tools that can slip in easily anywhere. And especially if I'm working on something smaller, I really need to read something while I'm putting something together, working on something, it's nice to have something to really aid in that. Again, you can use it as a fire starter as well. And this is absolutely one of my favorite tools ever. This is an old UDF card. Again, another thing I've talked a lot about, uh, but just an old credit card, essentially, with, uh, I want to say about two and a half, three feet of Gorilla Tape. And then because it gets a lot thinner, you can use a lot more, about maybe five feet or so of electrical tape. And I just love this as something to carry because it's so easy to store. You could put this in a wallet if you want to, and it's just absolutely useful to store it like this. It means I can unreal it. I can have easy access to it, and it packs so much better than, say, a roll of something. So tape in a couple different forms because they have different utility as well. And I think there's one last thing I have in here, and that is a triple A. Yeah, that's all I have in here. That is a triple A battery actually for the flashlight itself. Uh, again, I wanted to stick with triple A just because it's small, it's easy. I didn't want rechargeable because uh, it's easy to find a triple A flashlight, or rather a triple A battery, and I wanted something. Uh, but nothing in here is really super crazy expensive, so I didn't want to put something in here that I really had to hassle with or really, you know, be super brokenhearted about losing if I do, because one of these guys is 10, maybe 12 bucks and still super rugged. So AAA battery, super useful. We'll go to the other side. First off, that Sharpie. Again, I like to carry it with a little keychain attachment. Uh, Sharpie just because... It's a great writing tool. I mean, I carry one of these on me all the time. It rides on my keychain now, whether it's writing on grungy surfaces, which I do a lot at work. I'm in automotive parts, so it means that I'm dealing with a lot of just grungy stuff all the time. Or you need a bigger note, whatever it is, uh, Sharpie is super useful too. Say you're trying to label something, uh, whether it's marking that you were somewhere or marking something you're working on, it's just a much... He more heavy duty way of marking things which while it may seem silly because I'm probably not going to write a note in sharpie on a piece of paper if I want to label something I'm working on as already done or I'm under the hood of a car or I'm working on some sort of woodworking project to have something like this to label uh, and notate definitely helps better than trying to kind of scratch something in with a pen uh, the tool itself, I thought long and hard about this. This is my SOG Power Pint, which I absolutely love. And for the longest time, this is ridden in my fifth pocket. This has been my carry for quite a while. But I have kind of changed things up a little. Lately, I've been carrying this guy. This is the Tactiman. Essentially, this type of tool. There are a lot of different ones. But a blade and dedicated scissors, which I have found myself more and more these days needing over the main function of this tool or feature, I should say, for a tool this size is the fact that it does actually have a dedicated bit driver. And I've been finding myself less and less in need of that. So that's why I've switched to something else with just a slightly different tool set for what I'd want to carry. Um, with this though, it has a lot of great utility with the pliers. I'm not going to go through everything, but a SOG PowerPoint 
is absolutely worth the money for its size category for the just the workhorse you can make you can uh, kind of turn this into with the right jobs this is a great tool so the sog power pint fits in here perfect and its mate is actually another one of my favorites that for a long time i was also carrying in my fifth pocket and this is the leatherman ratcheting extension so uh, another great tool and when combined with this it means that i have actually pretty good reach this is a little inch inch and a half two inch bit so when i combine these together it means that i have pretty good reach i mean this is let's see here that's almost eight inches of reach we'll call it seven and a half inches of reach out of just this tiny bag which is pretty good and to be able to ratchet with it is nice if i don't need something that long i can just throw the bit direct into it so that way i have a lot of good options with this the other thing you'll notice attached to the end of this and i have a different version too that i carry on my keychain but a little finger driver and these are, I'll say it again, I say it in every video, putting out a bounty. If you know where I can get these little county com finger drivers, these little widgets, I absolutely love this thing. So if I really need to work somewhere tiny, I still have some leverage. So this really fits super well into a kit like this where I'm maybe working on some smaller stuff. So the SOG Power Pint, the Leatherman ratcheting extension... And a good solid bit. I want to say this is like impact resist, whatever it is. A good solid bit or just a, a longer bit is absolutely a great idea for any sort of toolkit where you don't know when you're going to use it or what you're going to need it for. But I'd like something strip resistant because I'm not carrying a whole bunch of extra in this bag. Uh, up here, two things actually. This is, you'll notice I had this tucked in here little keychain light. I know this is cheesy, but it also means, say I have my flashlight clipped to my hat or somewhere else or set up as a lantern or hanging off the hood of a car or whatever it might be. This gives me the ability to look around maybe in my bag, search something else. Just a little key fob to be able to even just look at my hands and look at what I'm holding or working on while having a larger light somewhere else. And that's attached to, this was either two and a half or three feet of, this is survival paracord. So, you know, take what you will from, quote, survival. But this does have a uh, waxed wick inside. It's got a fishing line. It's got just a lot of really neat function. Uh, and I did this because this is a super easy, convenient, and thin way to store cordage. Because if I had this and I just took two or three feet and I guess bundled it up, it absolutely wouldn't fit into something like this super easy. There are a lot of different weaves you can use. I'm a fan of this one. Maybe I'll find whatever it's called or if you know what it's called. It's super easy to do. I did this in five minutes and I'm now able to store two and a half, three feet of cordage in a like five inch space, which is pretty kind of awesome. So that I think think let me see i think that is what i have in my kit uh so yeah i'm really excited again huge shout out to steve's gear for sending me this pouch a big shout out to alpaca for making something so small but so incredibly useful with so much utility uh yeah i think this is a loadout that uh, i've already used a lot i've become very happy and like every other EDC I'm going to tweak this I'm going to change it it will evolve but I feel pretty good that this pouch is a really good medium for anyone looking for something that has a lot of utility and a lot of space but still has really good function for being something so small so thank you for spending your time with me and as always stay safe be prepared and have a great day